Hi I have a Miele 2170 Advanta series dishwasher, and it has been flashing error codes. It originally was flashing all six program lights and the buzzer was going. The dishwasher wouldn't even go into a cycle without the buzzer sounding. After I unplugged it and did a factory reset it seemed to work fine. That evening it started acting up again. It will run a cycle for about 20 minutes and then the buzzers go off and the intake slash drain light is flashing. Your help is appreciated. Hello, and thank you for using this service. I'll be helping you with your problem today. All the lights flashing means there is water in the base pan, or at least the dishwasher thinks there is water in the base pan. You'll need to uninstall the dishwasher and tip it on its back. Remove the four screws going into the bottom panel and see if there is water that comes out after you remove the base panel. If so, then you'll need to run the dishwasher without the base panel on and see if you can determine where it's leaking from. Now if you don't find any leaking, then that means that your main control board inside the door is just starting to short out. There isn't much you can do about that but to replace the entire control board which is not cheap and comes directly from Melee as I'm sure you can imagine. Also, I do not receive credit for my time helping you if you do not choose one of the top 3 ratings, so if there is anything else I can help you with today just let me know. The bottom pan has been removed and there was no leaks. That error code has gone away since I plugged the machine back in and did a factory reset. The new error is the intake slash drain flashing with the buzzer sounding. This happens after about 20 minutes into a wash cycle. Any ideas? Thanks. Just the intake slash drain light flashing is different than all the lights flashing like you stated before. Okay let's find out what this error code is. Hold the power off button for 5 seconds. Wait 15 seconds. Hold buttons 2 and 3 while turning the machine on. Release the buttons once the salt light and the intake slash drain light begin to flash. Press 5 press 1 one of the program buttons 1 to 5 will be lit up if not press 6 which light is lit up now? Give me the results and tell me if you press 6 or not. My machine only has the following buttons on, off and power. I'm sure your instructions will be similar but I just wanted to confirm with you. Thanks. Hello my name is XXXXXXXXXXX. I am an authorized Melee service technician and I can help you more today. If the intake slash drain light is flashing and buzzer is sounding after about 20 minutes, when it sounds is there water in the machine already? You would have to open the door of course when this happens to check. Or is the tub empty when the fault occurs? If the machine is empty when the fault occurs, which it most likely will not be, that you are having an issue with the water flow system. Put simply, there is no water entering the dishwasher after the first wash and rinse cycle. You would need to kill the power to the machine and check that the water supply is on and is not kinked or blocked in any way. Which again, should be good if it filled up fine the first time. Then check the water inlet valve filter for a clog of sediment. The valve to this machine has a filter or screen that catches most of TH sediment found in our water supply so that it doesn't damage the valve or dishwasher. And if the sediment is left to build up on the screen it could completely block the flow of water getting into the dishwasher. So remove the valve from the machine and check the filter. You may need to remove the water supply leading to the valve to do this. Then check the screen. And if you find a lot of dirt clean it out and put everything back together and check the machine. Let it run and see if it stops. 
Now if there was water in the dish when the fault light came on, can you advance to a drain cycle and have the water drain out? If the water drains out normally, then there is an issue with the circulation pump motor. Usually it gets jammed or clogged with sediment and causes the circulation pump to bind or zitza. This is the most likely problem you are having. It is common on this model machine and for melee in general. To fix this you can do two things. First remove the filter from inside the bottom of the tub and check to see if there is any buildup of food there. And there most likely will be if the filter area has not been cleaned regularly. Just twist off the cup and 3 move the filter cover and stick your hand in the filter area to check to see if you can see or feel any food. But be careful not to get cut on any sharp pieces of bone or glass. If you find food in there clean it out as best as you can and try to get all of it. Then again put everything back and retry the machine and see if it gives you the error code again. If it does, it is likely that the clog of food and debris has caused the circulation pump impeller to jam or zitza. And it will need to either repair it or replaced. Mele used to give you what is called a circulation pump motor hook tool designed specifically for this problem. In which the tool comes with instructions on how to use it to unjam the circulation pump and get the machine running again. And if you call Mele directly they should find and tell you if that can still be done. Their number is xxxxx and ask for the technical support department or for the tool and they will get you the info and the tool. And they will usually send it out to you free of charge. This will be the quickest and cheapest way possible to fix this machine. Now if after getting the tool and using it properly with supplied instructions, and it still doesn't fix your problem then unfortunately you will have to replace the circulation pump motor. And again for that, call Mele directly. This time ask them for the circulation pump motor. Now this time, to install the circulation pump motor it will be a bit more involved and time consuming. And we'll take a qualified technician to install. So it is recommended to also schedule a service appointment while on the phone with them when ordering the part. And this way you can save money on getting the part directly from Mele and have an authorized Mele tech come out to install it. And they should just charge you labor. And not parts. If you have any questions about all this information I just threw at you please get back to me here and I will explain it more for you. Or if you have any other questions or concerns too. Just get back to me and let me know and I will continue helping you. If you feel that I have answered your question please remember to rate my performance with a rating of higher than 2 stars. This will allow me to get credit for helping you. And if you have any other questions after rating me it also gives you the option to continue chatting with me directly about this machine for no additional charge. Thanks for your time and I hope to hear back from you soon. And I look forward to helping you fix this machine in the quickest and cheapest way possible. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash y-t-h-i.